YouTube, what's up, man? Before this gameplay against K Mac, the number one player on Mutt Head to Head on Xbox, want to show you guys the team, man. I do have Steve Young, do have him with Escape Artist. Um, let's see what else I have with him. I hope I can see in this screen right now. No, I can't. I have Escape Artist. Let's go take a look, matter of fact. I'll tell you, let's tell the rest of the team right now. Marcus Allen, who I use at tight end. Uh, I have Clinton Portis at running back, Saquon Barkley as well. Um, Odell Beckham, Marvin Harrison in my slot. Tory Holt, Tyreek Hill in case I need to bomb somebody. Um, I have Jordan Gross, left tackle. Bruce Matthews, left guard. Upgraded there. I had Norwell last time, I believe. Just give me a little bit more beef. Norwell also has the worst agility and the worst speed. And you guys could say, man, that's stupid. Why do you care about agility and speed on a lineman? I mean, if you're going to run base... Uh, you're definitely going to need your lineman to get out. Norwell was always fat and sluggish and didn't pick up some blitzing linebackers when he was pulling on base. So why not have Matthews? He's better anyway, 91 overall. Still have Zach Martin, still have Lane Johnson, Kittle, and Walker don't really play for me. Um, defensive side of the ball. I have Gilmore in this gameplay. I actually just sold him because I had too many DBs. As you see, I see Ken Houston, Harrison Smith, Ramsey, Mel Blunt. Ramsey and Pat Peter are my favorite corners. Uh, I, people say they suck, man, but they play really good for me. I love Pat Pete. He just adds a dimension where he gets the ball. He takes it to the crib. Uh, Jalen Ramsey, uh, always physical tall. We'll see in this game what that height really means. Mel Blunt, another tall corner I love. Charles Tillman, another tall corner I love. Willie Brown, another tall corner I love. Amos, just a fast safety. Uh, Justin Reed, just a free safety just for sprinter. He doesn't play. Lawrence Taylor, Von Miller, Khalil Mack, Geno Atkins, Aaron Donald, um, Reggie White. Uh, my pass rush is going to be Reggie White, Lawrence Taylor, uh, Von Miller. I shall have w Willie Lanier, Lanier, whatever you, Lanier, whatever people tell me that he's named. Just got him for about 800K. He's a freak middle linebacker, pretty much a clone of Shazier. So I got rid of Bobby Wagner and got this guy. He's not going to play too much against K-Mac, who's going to be in a spread. So you're not going to see him on the field too much. Uh, like I said, man, we have Willie Brown, Charles Tillman. My, what I have activated right now, Lawrence Taylor, Reggie White. And in this game, I had, let me do it now before I get mad tomorrow when I start playing and Willie Brown is not activated. Been using Willie Brown with his zone hawk, zoned out the zone abilities just to make some plays, man. I've been putting him in the middle of my field and cover three to see what he can do. Really not worth it to take um, the pass rush off. You do run these guys and we'll see K-Mac in this game. Half secure pass blocker does a great job against those abilities, those pass rushers. Now, in this game, I don't use secure pass blockers. And I can be honest with you guys, when I started it, I was a little bit worried about that because he was getting at me a couple plays. I do have Marcus Allen with a uh, just jukebox or just evasive. I have Clinton Porters with jukebox and evasives. So when I get him the ball, when I throw the flats to Marcus Allen, the drags to Marcus Allen, swing routes to Clinton Porters, delay routes to Clinton Porters, I can make bigger plays out of him. Of course, Steve Young. Let's go take a look at that card now. Show you guys what I have on Steve Young. And really pretty much why I like using this card. Uh, that We talk about you guys must have seen it. I don't know if you guys played against it yet. But this escape artist is really definitely different. Just allows you to take control instantly of the quarterback, be extra fast. 91 overall. I have tier 4 sprinter, so he gets up to 84 speed. Bazooka, that means when he gets a, what, two, two 30 yard pass in the air, he can throw the ball 15 yards further than normal. 80 yard passes. Um, against a good player, you're really not going to come across that too often. But uh, roaming dead eye, that's perfect pass accuracy while standing outside of the pocket. Um, I thought that was kind of pointless, but there's nothing really else I wanted to get here. Maybe indoor baller or homer, gift wrapped. Uh, it says higher chance to complete passes to uncovered targets. I don't have a problem dropping passes when I'm uncovered. If it said maybe a higher chance to complete a pass to somebody that's not open, maybe. But I, I felt that was pretty pointless. Uh, safety valve, consistent catching from running backs who beat their coverage. I don't really know what that does, so I put roaming dead eye on. Don't think it's a necessity. Perfect pass accuracy while standing outside the pocket. I feel like quarterbacks already have that to begin with. I put Gutsy Scrambler. Now, this one was kind of a toss-up between Last Ditch and Gutsy Scrambler. Immunity to pressure while throwing on the run. Now, if he could have Dashing Dead Eye, that would be really tough. I believe my Mahomes had that when you're running. I believe Mahomes has that on regs. Dashing Dead Eye, when you're running, you put the ball wherever you want. But I did put Gutsy Scrambler does not get affected by pressure while running. So if I can, that means I can kind of run around and throw when somebody's in my face. I like that. Last ditch is really good, too, because you can almost get a, get a ball and throw the ball out of bounds or throw it away while you're getting sacked. 
that's really good. And then last but not least, the most important, Escape Artist, man. 55 cat for Escape Artist. And honestly, I think it's low because behind the line of scrimmage, when you hit that right trigger, man, he is the fastest player on the field. So let's get into this gameplay and show you guys what Steve Young can do against the number one player in Mutt. All right, man. So we're getting the ball first. This is the first play of the game. And now people tell me about K-Mac. Um, I've played him twice, probably the first week of the season. I'll tell you, he's probably the best player I've played. As you see, he has that Pat Tillman already fully maxed out, ready to go. So he's a tough player to play against as we hit this post route over the top to Odell Beckham Jr. I am in the Saints playbook, man. This ebook is going to be released on Madden Turf within the next couple days. As we see Von Miller just taking over and just stopping that escape artist I just talked about so well. But this ebook will be released dot over there Odell Beckham on the out route will be released in the next couple days man so if you don't have that premium membership to Matt and Turf as I dump it off to Marcus Allen make a miss in the open field gain another 20 yards after that that's why I use Marcus Allen the tight end if you don't know how to get him there like I said check out manturf.com or you can check out my sub streams on Wednesday on Twitch the Twitch link is below the sub link is below as well Wednesdays nights we always lab always teach you guys tricks and insight about little things like that so if you want to check those out Come to the substream Wednesday nights, man. But like I said, there's great going up 7 nothing on, on K-Mac, who's probably the best player i played this year. Haven't played him in probably two weeks, and this is the first look I'm getting at his spread. He has Kurt Warner, which means he can have every route in the game at his disposal. But that's okay because it also makes him immobile, so I don't have to put any spies on the field. As we get to a fourth down, um, I'm going to man up A, try to get on the left slot DB, but I'm not. I'm on Reggie White. Got to make a play. Got to go back here, find somebody. And Reggie White, the minister of defense, was fat enough and fast enough to knock the ball down on fourth and inches. So we get the ball back, back in field goal range. Once again, he boxes the escape artist right there with Michael Strahan getting off a block. Goes through a little man coverage. Hit this corner route up here to Marvin Harrison. That's why I use him in the slot. He's been my best receiver so far this year. Try to hit a little stretch. Clinton Porter, C. Poe to the dough. Can't get in. Almost in. Nice little stretch to the right. Pat Tillman blesses me. Now, I should have took Clinton Porter's out. I left him in, and he fumbles. But luckily, Lane Johnson, the best offensive lineman in the history of the NFL, comes up with the fumble. Now, I'm just joking. I'm an Eagles fan, so Lane Johnson is a beast. But So I go up 10 nothing right there. Running a little inside zone right here. The one thing about having Kurt Warner, he can do. He has conductor, can do all these hot routes. So K-Mac was snapping the ball really fast. Was tough to get ready for the run as he does a little hitch over there to Tyreek Hill. Um, those little hitches are super annoying. Um, for me, pretty much the only pass that was really open for him most of this game. As uh, looks like Von Miller finally got to uh, <laughs> Kurt Warner here. He has all day right there. Uh, Reggie White did get to him, but Ken Houston puts Torrey Holt in the dirt. That's what I want. Third and two again. Goes little hitch over to Jerry Rice right there. Just got to kill him after the play. Uh, and that's manned up. The man coverage is not doing a good job on hitch. Jesus, not a good job was Willie Brown trying to tackle Deuce McAllister in the hole right there. Second and four, little hitch again. Little hitch, little hitch, little hitch. These things are annoying. Like I said, it, pretty much the only pass that he really completed. Stiff arms by Charles Tillman. I got Tillman in safety this game. Um, There you'll see Ken. I got Ken Houston and... Harrison Smith at linebacker. Now, the next play, he rumbles in right there with Marcus Allen. Now, we have 55 seconds left. Now, this is an important part of the game, man. I had to go down and get some score because I kick it off to him. I don't want to kick the ball off 10-7 to because then he can go up 14-7. to Or he can go up, you know, he can go up or at least tie the game. But So, it's 10-7. to I want to get some points here. I have two timeouts, 50 seconds. Nice out route dot there. I step up in the pocket. A little bit too far across the line. Have to use my timeout there. Didn't want to cross the line yet. Once again, I have all day over here. Hit, Harry, hit Marvin Harrison on the sideline. Y out. Uh, trips, or what is it? Tight offset. Probably my favorite formation in the game. Dump it off over here to Marvin Harrison. Got to get out of bounds. Save my timeout. And we do that. 34 seconds. One timeout. Closing in on the red zone. 22-yard line. Once again, laser this corner out over here. Marvin Harrison. Marvin Harrison. Or hear his name. Next play, we're looking for a hitch. We're looking for a hitch. Over here, Holt, boom. Somehow, Gilmore hit sticks me in a possession catch animation, and we drop it. Next play, uh, four-yard line. We're going to get sacked with Steve Young trying to get out of there. Uh, Tillman was in a spy there, I believe. Next play, inside zone. C. Poe to the dough. What was crazy was Mel Blunt actually held me up, but Ken Houston came from behind. Pause. And knocked me into the end zone. We go up 17 to 7. Huge play in that game because if I kick the field goal there, it's only 13 to 7. And he can take the lead with a touchdown out of half. 
or you know whatever it may be but having him down two scores was just way more devastating as he completed a post route there get him right here this is it's just a sack to end the half so i'm at halftime because c poe knocked that touchdown in uh it really gives me a little leeway up 10 points feeling really good about how the game's going as you see von miller who's actually my only lineman really beasting right now and he's the only one without the x factor which is pretty crazy I'll show you guys, man. I know you guys are getting shedded and everything, but you can watch this game and watch K-Mac play. He rarely ever blocks his running back, and he has all day because he uses the pocket so well, and he has those secure pass blockers. So if you're getting shedded a lot, I would really invest in those secure pass blockers. I don't have the pass blockers this game, so it's, gonna, it's put more stress on my pocket presence and being able to stand up in the pocket to avoid these quick, quick block sheds. It's Deuce McAllister. Gets into the secondary again, breaks some tackles, picks up a cool 25 yards easily. I can't allow that. I got to find a way to shoot this inside zone. In the second half, I'll do that. Ah, tried to bait him a little bit right there. It was a little bit too slow there with Gilmore as he hits a dot to Torrey Hole over the middle. 13-yard line. Got to hold the door. Can't give up seven here. Good lurk over there by Gilmore taking away. Nobody fighting on my D-line. Nobody fighting. And at least we get there make him throw the ball away. Felt like that was a 10-second play. Next play, the same thing. Nobody fighting. It feel, it almost looks like a replay on second down, but we finally get the sack right there. Reggie White, Von Miller getting home. Third and long, Reggie White actually beasted that play. He threw the center out of the way, got to the quarterback, forces came back to kick a field goal. We're up by seven. This is a game-defining drive right here. Got to go ahead and get some points. Hopefully get some points and take some time off the clock. Hold an RB with Pat P so he doesn't fumble. If I can get a field goal, take it to the fourth quarter, I'll feel really good. As we hit this drag, possession catch Odell right in front of Ken Houston. Eats a hit. That's why we've been using Odell over Tyreek Hill. A little bit tougher, and there it is. You want to run that match coverage? You want to run palms? All these glitchy little nickel defenses that people are running. Cover six, cover nine, match techniques, all this. Marvin Harrison will make you pay. That's probably about the fourth or fifth big catch that Marvin Harrison has had. Putting me up 14 to 10 and really solidifying a big lead right here. Now, like I said, bend but don't break. That's all we want to do. No big plays, no big plays. And here we go. Just somebody needs to get home. That's one thing I try to do a lot is um, as he throws this low ball to Jerry Rice. If someone has good pocket presence like K-Mac does, I like to kind of pinch and crash my line down as we make a tackle on the run really killing me. I don't care about the run now. As long as it's not home run plays and we stop the run right here, then I'm okay because it's taking time off the clock. And the next play... He's going to go out here, look for this hitch route, and Jalen Ramsey jumps up and goes, gets it. That's why people say height doesn't matter that much. Height matters so much for me. I will always have the bigger people, always have the taller corners. And Jalen Ramsey went up there and just took that corner right away. There's that escape artist, man. If you give him a sliver, he will take 10-plus yards easily. And we're just going to run here, take it to the fourth quarter. We're up 14 points. Hopefully go down here and get some points. Marcus Allen just making people miss. Another example why I have him at tight end. Third and one, take off with Steve Young. Again, just hit that right trigger. He gets a burst right up the middle of the field. Just a way to go ahead and just really devastate the defense. As you see the next play, he has to spy. Tries to stop Marvin Harrison. Can't get it done. First down, I'm in field goal range. We're going to run the ball right here. Just take some time off the clock. And then, man, picking up eight yards right there with Cpo. What that's going to do is have K-Mac tap because at the end of the day, uh, I'm in field goal range. There's only three minutes left. A field goal definitely ends this game, making it a 17-point lead. So that game, uh, he's really tough to play on defense, but that game my offense won it for me. Being able to go down and score touchdowns when I needed. Clinton Porter's fighting in that end zone there for that touchdown before half was really a huge play in the game, man. So like I said, people ask me who's the best I played. It's probably definitely K-Mac, the toughest to stop with that spread offense. So make sure you guys check him out on Twitch. When he's streaming, you can watch him run that spread offense, man, because it's really effective. Like I said, New Orleans ebook coming out this week. Stay tuned.